This is Future Sound Lab's uh, Patriot Electronic Earmuffs. Uh, now, included with this uh, set of ear protections are the instructions here uh, and two uh, AA batteries uh, that I've already got inside here. Um, now, although the Amazon page says that there's a three-year warranty on this, um, there is no warranty information listed in the instructions that I could find. Um, and the instructions say for warranty information, check the manufacturer's website, uh, which I did, and there's no warranty information listed there either. So, I mean, if there is a three-year warranty on this, then, you know, that's great, but the information uh, should also be provided in the included instructions and on the manufacturer's website. Because uh, in my opinion, you know, the Amazon page can disappear or be altered at any time. Uh, and there's nothing in there to say that there's any kind of warranty at all. Um, so that's a little bit of a concern. I, I just think that, uh, you know, maybe that's an oversight by the manufacturer or whatever. But, uh, again, they should definitely include their warranty information in the product, uh, with the product, and on their own website. Um, now, I, I regularly practice uh, at ranges and have used a variety of types of brands of ear protections over the years. Uh, from the standard, which is kind of what the, I consider these, to what I call low profile, which are thinner, uh, basic ear protection, to the electronic types, which again is what this particular type is, uh, such as these. Now, my most recent set of electronic ones that I've used over the last uh, few years is a set of Peltors, uh, with the, what they call their tactical uh, set, which is kind of a low profile set that... I really kind of have a what I would call a love-hate relationship with because uh, they have their own design issues uh, as well, um, even though they're a more expensive uh, set of earmuffs, uh, currently about $80 more than what this particular 20-something dollar set is. So I don't expect this set, which I consider a budget-level set, to match up to uh, you know, a more expensive set of earmuffs such as the Peltors I have. Uh, but with that being said, uh, th you know, this set of earmuffs does have some of its own uh, design issues as well that I think could be a, a bit better. Um, but this is, as you can see, is a more a bulkier set than what you would consider low profile. Uh, and it, as you can see, it's made of, the casings are made of like a hard, shiny plastic, um, which I do think they can handle being tossed around a little bit. But I think this hard, shiny plastic, uh, if they're dropped on concrete or pavement, the casing actually might might crack. Um, I, so I don't think they would be, you know, are designed to handle that level of abuse. Um, Comfort-wise, though, these are fairly comfortable on the ears. Uh, they've got sufficient padding uh, on on the ears, and although they're a little bit, this set is a little bit heavier than what I'm kind of used to especially versus the low profile. Uh, but I don't think they're any heavier than uh, any other similar style earmuffs in this particular price range. Um, you know, as with these types of headsets, they do get a little bit worn because of the design of the earmuffs here uh, on the ears after a while, but that's fairly normal for most of these st style of headsets. Now, the top headband here, uh, seems to have no really no cushioning in terms of padding in it. It's more of a pocket, air pocket type of plastic. Um, and in my opinion, I think it lacks some padding. Uh, I mean, it's in, in comfort uh, there, but it's okay to wear on my head, but I can feel the actual metal band of these running across the top. So I really wish they'd have padded that a little bit better. Um, uh, one of my complaints that I have with my Peltor set is the pain it is to insert the batteries. Uh, now this set actually is pretty easy to change the batteries and maybe a little bit too easy in my opinion. Uh, but they fit into uh, the bottom slot here. There's the slot. And this thing slides off fairly easily and then the batteries pop right out. And in my opinion I think uh, it, it's a little too easy to, to pop this little cover off because I think it's something that can easily get popped off and get lost, uh, you know, and disappear and you never find it again. I mean, I kind of wish they would have put some type of 
locking mechanism on the slot so it kind of lock in place because really all it does is just slide into place over those batteries and that's it. Uh, I, I just don't think that it's made where it's going to stay on uh, in certain situations and it's going to come and it's going to end up flying off but um, you know a, a little bit of a design uh, improvement there would greatly help that issue. Um, now one of my biggest issues though with this is not necessarily the battery cover but as you can see the wiring here um, there's quite a bit excess wire here it's I would say a thinner wire but my bigger concern is not the thinness of the wire, but see see how how much room uh, this wire's got to play around. It's not been secured down on this this uh, headband, and I can see very easily snagging this and yanking this wiring, and it's that way on both sides, and yanking this wiring completely out of the earmuffs. Um, I'm I'm the one that throws my earmuffs in like a bag and then throw it in the trunk of the car. And I could really see uh, that happening uh, uh, with the wiring being yanked out. Uh, now, and this is something that several brands of headsets and earmuffs, especially in the budget price range, do. So I'm not really specifically trying to pick on this particular brand. But I do think that they should at least try to secure the wiring against the, the band of the earmuffs to provide a little bit less likelihood that they're going to get snagged and yanked off. Um, the headset has a volume control here uh, that has sufficient resistance which for turning on and off which is one of my complaints about the Peltor I have it's too easy to accidentally turn on. There's a red indicator here I don't know how well you can see that that pops on to show that it's got power and it's on. Uh, then there's the microphone which I you know is located just above the volume control. I kind of wish they would have uh, designed that to blend in a little bit better because to me it kind of sticks out but um, I mean it's neither here nor there. It's more of a preference in my opinion for me but uh, the volume of this headset seems a bit low in my opinion um, and, and, and things kind of sound far away, a bit far away. Um, but I mean it, it works okay enough for hearing uh, it does seem to work well at cutting out for loud noises when you're at the range, but they do cut out with loud talking at times as well. Um, I'd say these are passable as an electronic set, but of course they're going to be outperformed by more expensive sets. Um, now these work well enough for a budget level set and are comparable to similar sets in this price range, which is, this is the 20 to $25 price range, so you know, you don't, expect high end performance with a set that's more budget priced but really could use some design improvements to make them overall better especially with the wiring and the microphone design um, again with warranty I'm concerned about that because it says it on Amazon but I can verify it and so in, my, in for something like that if I can't verify it I have to assume uh, that the warranty is, is 90 days or less. It says three years on Amazon, but there's nothing in the instructions to say it's three years. There's nothing on the web page on the manufacturer's uh, site to say it's three years either. So as a budget level set, these will do for the casual user. If you're looking for something higher end, you're going to have to spend more money. Uh, I give this set three stars.